Welcome to the Windows 7 launch event here in New York City. I'm Natalie Del Conti with CNET. This is Microsoft's flagship party. There are parties all over the country because today is the day that Windows 7 launches. I'm a PC and here's Steve Palmer. What you were late. I was late. <laughs> I was late. How about we give you a PC. pink PC for Kylie? See, I go show your daddy. Kylie's Thank got her new you. PC. Thank you. Can I well, so today, Windows 7 is available. 45,000 stores around the world. He announced a few things that we didn't know about Windows 7. Some applications, such as a new Amazon Kindle app that will let you read your books on your PC. And we now have the Kindle Reader that will be coming out in beta form in early November that they have created a Kindle app that gives you all of your content libraries from Kindle. There was also some new hardware we hadn't seen, a tablet touchscreen from Acer. This flips around to become a, a notebook computer. It, it does. Also the new Dell Adamo, which is thinner than ever before. This is going to be the thinnest computer in the world when it's shipping. 9.99 millimeters thin. It's got a capacitive latch that opens. There are also some new capabilities that they showed off, home networking, home movie making, all of those things that make Windows 7 different, some machines that booted up super fast. The thing that I want to show you here is that just booted up completely, 15 seconds. And this is a real image. That's from the time you touch the power button. From the time I touch the power button, 15 seconds, it's up. Off of one, one Windows 7 PC. I've got 16 different experiences going through the home. Now that's one big home. Windows is still their most important product, so I think it's really important not just that Windows itself get good reviews, but that people like the PCs that are built on it. I think a lot of today was about showing a whole bunch of new PCs. I think we'll really see this holidays whether people are biting. And can you compare this to the Vista launch just two years ago? I think this was a lot less show and a lot more focus on the product. You know, with Vista, they had acrobats, they had a rock band. It was much more of a party. This was much more business, showing the new features, showing the new PCs, no celebrities. Things like the Kindle, things like the touchscreen, um, you know, the deal with our parents, CBS. Those things are things that maybe you can't do on any machine. For CNET.com, I'm Natalie Del Conti in New York.